Hello, dear students. My name is Monebi Lawrence Olubenga. I'm your English language teacher. The topic for discussion is pronouns. Happy listening. At the end of the lesson, students will be able to describe pronouns and substitute pronouns for nouns in given sentences. The pronoun. The pronoun substitutes for the noun. It is used instead of a noun. For the use of the pronoun to be meaningful, there has to be an antecedent which the pronoun replaces in the sentence. E.g., the boy said he was not coming. The boy is the antecedent, while he is the pronoun. Classes of pronoun. One, personal and possessive pronouns. Personal pronouns replace names of persons or things, while possessive pronouns indicate possession. They are on the table below. Subjective case, objective case, possessive case. The first person, I, we, me, us, my, mine, ah, us. Second person, you, you, you. You, your, yours. Third person, he, she, it, they, him, her, it, them, his, her, hers, its, their, theirs. The first person personal pronoun, I, we always take a plural verb. E.g., do, have, go, except am. It is I only that takes the verb am in English language. E.g., I've got a mansion in Banana Island, Lagos. I do. But I am coming. Note this. The first column, the correct version, while the second column is incorrect. As, yours, theirs, his, possessive pronoun. The incorrect version, as, that is apostrophe before S or after S. Yours. Apostrophe before or after S. There's apostrophe before S or after S. Do not confuse his, a possessive pronoun with his, a contrasted form of is. Two, reciprocal pronouns. They are used when there is exchange of something. If the exchange is between two things, use each other. E.g., my father and mother love each other. B. Titi and John don't trust each other. But if the interchange is among three or more things, use one another. E.g., we are a family of five but don't love one another. It is common to hear people say Titie and Ade don't love themselves. Will you take the sentence above as correct? Let's pause here for a short break. When we return, we shall continue. Thank you. Welcome back. Three, the relative pronouns. 
The relative pronoun performs dual functions in a sentence. Apart from relating to the head word, it joins the less important part of a sentence to the more important part, e.g., A, the book which I borrowed from the library has been stolen. B, the man who is standing out there is a faithful friend. Examples are subjective, who, which, that, what, objective, whom, which, that, what, possessive, whose, of which, of that, of what. Four, compound relative pronouns. Compound relative pronouns are in general use. They are formed by adding ever and so ever to the simple forms who, which, what, it is a. Examples, subjective, whoever, whichever, whatever, whosever, objective, whomever, whichever, whatever, whosever, possessive, whatsoever, of whichever, of whatever, whosever. Try to construct some sentences with three of these compound relative pronouns and share with a friend. Five, reflexive pronouns. They are formed by adding self or selves to the personal pronouns. They are called emphatic pronouns. Reflexive pronouns are used to lay emphasis on the doer of an action rather than the action. Reflexive pronouns are myself, ourselves, yourselves, himself, herself, itself, themselves. For example, I swept the room myself. The emphasis here is on who did what. Note that when by accompanies a reflexive pronoun, it means the doer does it alone. E.g., Mary killed the snake by herself without any assistance alone. Six, numerical pronouns. A numerical pronoun has to do with number, either a cardinal number, one, two, three, four, etc., or an ordinal number, first, second, third, etc. They are pronouns when they take the place of an understood noun. For example, you have two mangoes. Give one to Sherifat. The demonstrative pronouns. The demonstrative pronouns are used to point at a person or thing. This singular. These plural, that singular, those plural, e.g., this is the ball, those are the books. We're going to go for the final break now. When we come back, we shall conclude this class. Thank you. Welcome back to the final segment of this class. Eight, indefinite pronouns. An indefinite pronoun makes reference to no particular or specific object. Indefinite pronouns are all, every, nothing, any, Everyone, some, anybody, everything, someone, anyone, everybody, somebody, anything, none, something, either, no one, many, neither, nobody, both, 
many, more, most, etc. Indefinite pronouns often take singular verb. Examples, somebody loves me. No one cares for me. All is well. Exceptions are some, many, few, a few. These take plural verbs, e.g., many have gone, few are here, some do. Nine, the interrogative pronouns. An interrogative pronoun is a pronoun which is used to ask a question. There are just five interrogative pronouns. They are who, whom, whose, which, what. E.g., who will go with me to Aso Rock? Whose house is this? Which shirt do you think I should wear? My dear students, I'm strongly confident that the time you are spent with me is not a waste. Attempt these questions. Differentiate between whose car, W H O apostrophe S, is this? And whose car is this? W H O S E. Then do the following by picking the correct option. I have the picture of the boy Dash you said won the race. A. Who? B. Whose? C. Whom? D. Which? Two. Nigerians should love Dash if we must build a strong nation. A. Themselves. B. One another. C. Each and everyone. D. Their selves. Thank you. For further reading, go to wwwenglish for studentscom https hyperlink www.englishpractice.com https hyperlink www.grammarly.com Until I come your way next time, keep reading, keep learning new words every day. Thank you. God bless you.